Hi everybody, I'm Susie, Intuitive Coach. This is your weekly guidance video for the 30th to the 5th of May. So the 30th of April to the 5th of May. So as usual, I've picked out three cards for you. The first card that comes up is the Lover's card, which is very much about attraction. Now, this is also about attraction, you know, not just on a personal level, but attraction of finances and money as well. When the Lover's card comes up, it's a great time to start practicing, you know, the laws of attraction and how you attract different things to yourself. On a personal level, the card represents establishments of personal belief systems and becoming clear about your own values. You know, values is something that I talk about quite a lot because, you know, we have to have our own values in place and we need to be connected with people that, you know, share those same values with us. So being clear on our values is, you know, something that is really important. So this week, I really want you to have a look at your own values. What are your top types? Uh, top five values, you know, are they integrity, honesty, loyalty, freedom? What are your top five values? You know, do share below the video. I would love to know. Like I say, you know, it's also about attracting the things that we want towards us. So whether that's um, better relationships, new relationships, um, a better um, relationship with money, with finances and abundance as well. So it's a great time to really start putting the law of attraction into place because, you know, everything that we think is what we create in our life. So if we're thinking about better relationships, if we're thinking about new relationships coming in, whether that's friendships or partnerships, when we, you know, think about money, you know, do we want more money? Do we want to attract more money into our lives by putting those thought processes in place? And by working with the law of attraction, we can start to bring more money into play, which takes us on to the next card, which is the Justice card. Okay, so um, lots of positive things going on with the Justice card. Okay, so um, definitely looking at more balance in your life, looking at more balance within your thought processes um, as well. And this is a great time for new contracts and new opportunities to come your way as well. So, you know, looking at money, you know, do, do you want a new job opportunity to come your way and to sign a new contract for work that's going to improve your finances? So look at the opportunities around money this week because I do feel that that is the, the energy for the reading this week. It's all about money. It's all about your money mindset and how you attract money into your life. And the last card this week is the Four of Coins, which is very much about your money mindset. You know, do you have a limiting money mindset that is stopping you from attracting the money that you want to come into your life? When this card shows up for me, it tells me that my client needs to do some work on their belief system systems and their money mindset. So what are you sending out to the universe about money? Okay, because this is saying that, you know, you're limiting the amount of money that can come forwards to you. Okay, so are you the kind of person that has to hold on to their money and not spend any of it? Or are you sending out negative beliefs to um, the universe about money, you know, that it doesn't flow to you, that, you know, that money is limited, that money is evil, that, you know, um, money doesn't grow on trees. So this week, really do have a look at how you attract money into your life, the things that you're sending out to the universe, because your thoughts are creating your reality. So if you're thinking, you know, money is really hard to come by, then you're not attracting money in the right way. The universe will go out of its way to prove to you that money is a limited resource and that it's really hard for you to come by. Okay, whereas if you're sending out to the universe, you know, um, money flows to me quickly and easily, then the universe is going to provide you the money that you need. Now, 
because this has come up, um, you know, and is very much about money this week, it's important to do some work on your money mindset. So perhaps, you know, write down, um, you know, what you really think and feel about money, because, you know, some, some things that we hold on to, we hold on to subconsciously. Okay, so we're not aware that they're there until we, you know, we just free, free, write things down, okay, without thought. Okay, so just write down what does money mean to me and how do I feel about money? Because some limiting beliefs are definitely going to come up there. And the lover's card is telling you you need to change the way that you look about look at money so that you can start attracting money more easily into your life. Now, if this is something that you really feel that you want to work on, then please don't hesitate to get in contact with me. I do have my online course that will help you to change your beliefs around money, to put new affirmations into place, and to help you start to create cash on demand. So, you know, do get in contact and I will forward you the information on my course, okay? Um, for now, you know, just have a look at those limiting beliefs around you and what you're holding on to subconsciously because some work definitely needs to be done here to allow things to flow to you a lot more freely. So that's it for this week. I look forward to catching up with you all again next week for your next guidance video. Have an awesome weekend everybody and I look forward to speaking to you next week. Bye for now.